All right, we're here on part two of working on the Ford Explorer tough truck. Now, last time we saw this, we were stuck in a sand pit and we had one back tire spinning and I thought, hmm, it's kind of funny. I thought this thing would be a limited slip, you know, it's a sport race mode thing or whatever. Well, that probably doesn't mean anything. Anyways, so I crawled under here and I popped the cover off and sure enough, you can see right here, right there, those are your clutch packs. And this is the, the, they call it a thrust spring, holds outward pressure on the side gears. So the best way I understand how a limited slip works is that these normally slip on each other when you're under driving, regular driving conditions. The spring keeps constant pressure outward on these side gears. And when you get to horsing around, high throttle, what have you, the bevel on these gears will actually push apart and cram these clutches and plates together essentially locking the axle up but if you saw in the last video when we were just spinning one wheel it's pretty clear that these are plumb wore out when you do have a limited slip you uh, have to run special friction modifiers and stuff and this fluid actually looked pretty good but this rig's got 260 some thousand miles on it so there's a pretty good chance that these discs are just plumb wore out this is a tough truck. I don't care that it's a limited slip. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're just going to go ahead and do the old weld in between here and up in here and over in here and over in here and flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Then it'll be permanently locked forever. So uh, that's what we're going to do. It's going to work great. I don't recommend doing this if you're going on the road. Your tires will always be locked up. I don't know what a clutch kit's worth, but it's probably not too bad be worth it just to put it in there and it'd still have its road manners and you could still have traction on slippery roads or dirt hills or what have you but it's a tough truck we're doing it all for zero dollars and zero cents all right so I just finished welding this up I ain't gonna get real close because I ain't real proud of them but especially them ones I can hardly see them ones back behind the ring gear but few things there is a better way to weld up a rear end if you're going to weld up a rear end especially without the spring in the middle if you just have a regular open carrier uh, you can build a square plate that fits inside the four spiders and you can weld it solid here, 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 here. But this will work for what I'm doing. Um, another thing, when you're, before you weld it, spray it all off with brake clean and get those gears as clean as possible because that weld doesn't like to stick to gear oil, obviously. But make sure that you get all that brake fluid or brake cleaner gear oil everything out of this the best you can because i've uh had some differential fires in there they're warm welders make hot sparks brake fluid burns really good so just keeping that in mind oh yeah and always remove the drain pan out from underneath of it too when you're doing it in the rig because i've had hot sparks land in the drain pan melt holes through the drain pan and then you get a big old mess and ruin the drain pan so just little little things to keep in mind but this will work for what I'm doing. If, even if these welds break off the teeth, the weld will probably hold on onto one tooth or the other, and it will st actually stay locked. It's, again, not the best thing for a rear end because little pieces of spat, spatter and everything will come off and pass through the ring gear and everything. But again, we're not too carried away. We don't care about the bearings or the gears or nothing as long as I keep doing the turny thing and keep the axle things moving together will uh, be just fine all right i got this rear end all buttoned back up a little secret for you if you want to be inconspicuous when you put it back together don't paint it or nothing just leave it good and rusty so that way no one will know you've been inside the rear end just a little tech tip all right we got another thing marked off the list turns out this piece was just missing for the battery box so i went and found another one of those in the junk pile and She's bolted in there good. I just got to come up with a bolt for that guy so I can crank it down. Because that's one of the biggest things in tough trucking. Loose connections, battery flying into the engine and getting all chewed up. Sitting there dead in the water. It's a pretty, pretty simple thing to just strap your battery down. Make sure your connections are good and tight, clean, all that stuff. It's one thing that will keep you going for a longer time. 
Well, I went ahead and decided to pop all these fender flares off too, so if anybody's need is some nice broken fender flares, they're right there. But I think this looks a little bit better. The tires are almost flush with the the body rather than that big old fender flare sticking way out there. And uh, on top of that, when you get to doing a little bit of rubbing, chunks of plastic aren't just flying off everywhere all over the track and stuff and besides that we did save some weight because each one of them freaking things was plumb full of 50 pounds of dirt all the way around them i don't know if you can see it back there dirt all over dirt all over dirt all over pulled this guy out too still got wind in it it's full of dirt too weird so this thing is going to be like as light as the subaru here pretty quick well i went and i got some roll bar material well i got a roll bar yesterday and i kind of got gung-ho today and instead of filming i went ahead and just got after it, it second hand i had to clean up some stuff it was a little bit wide I had to cut it down and re-weld it but up there you can't really see them real good i got plates welded in or not welded in i got plates setting in there right there uh ready to be welded in i'm gonna weld them plates in and then i'll weld the bottom of the roll bar to them and then I got some straight tube inch and a half whatever uh, to uh, go ahead and build some kickers that hoop will go right behind the seat there the seats and those kickers will come off and come back and mount somewhere in this neighborhood I'm thinking so I've just kind of been going after it I haven't done a whole lot of roll bars so don't judge me on it okay but I think it'll save my life if she goes over. Maybe save some of the cab. But I'm going to keep going and I'll check in with you in a minute. Well, I got the hoop welded in there. It'll, it'll probably hold in there if I roll over. So I'm about out of Argon. It's getting late. So I'll probably do the kickers tomorrow or something. Yeah, but that's where we're at. Once we get them kickers done and the roll bar done. This automobile will be ready to rock and roll. All right, we had to take a little break from building a tough truck because we had to go buy a new toy. Ooh. It's all tore apart. Ooh. I gotta decide what motor and stuff I'm putting in it, but it's not, not enough to start with. Um, so yeah, you'll see a lot more of this later on, but we thought we'd give you a little sneak peek of it right now. We're on our way home from picking it up. Now back to your regularly, regularly scheduled tough truck. Alright, we made her back from picking up that new mud bogger. So, I just got finished welding in the whole roll bar. I threw a quick coat of spray paint on it just so it don't rust. But That's it. Pretty straightforward and simple. Just enough to keep me from dying. And with that, the tough truck is pretty much done we'll make sure we got good air in the tires fluids are all full um i think today's saturday it'll be next saturday that we'll be racing which should be our next video yep um it's kokomo's atv park uh we have a video out of one of their events already this one sounds like it's going to be a pretty good one there's a uh, going to be an 09 ranger should be showing up maybe a couple more grand cherokees yep. and i've got a fresh rig so it should be a pretty good show a little rubbing a little racing um some jumping maybe so. some rolling well now easy now uh, i mean i ain't scared we do need to test out the roll bar again. yeah i'll see you test them but so make sure you uh, stay and watch the next video it should be released next a week from this video being launched which will be about sunday morning so that's gonna wrap it up for us and this rig thanks for watching and uh Stay classy.